Record. All right, so we are recording. My hair, what happened? Um, I'm super excited um, about today. So we're going. What we've been doing the past three two other days is we've been focusing on our um, just our basic heart of just getting that connection of you know learning to sit and increase our capacity to sit in a joyful and appreciation moment. Right? It takes time to like to get that connection to get, get the appreciation, then to connect Jesus into it. It's just it's a process, right? To like, because I don't know about you, but before I knew this technique, I never even knew that I could even see Jesus. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I never knew that, you know, that he's with us always, but I never like thought to say, where are you right now? Like, mm -hmm. and then to actually like in my mind's eye see him, it's like, whoa, wait, he, he's that, you know, it's just so amazing. So, and of course, not everybody, some people sense, some people hear, you know, everyone's different, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so I'm super excited about um, just building on what we've been doing. Feel like it's been such a powerful time um and now we're just going to keep we laid the foundation we're just going to keep building a next little stepping stone so that's what today is so i'm going to open this up in prayer so we make sure we are covered <laughs> all right so lord we just want to come into full agreement with the intercession of the Holy Spirit for our time today, Lord. And just as you decreed victory for Jacob, Lord, I ask that you would decree victory for every single person here and those watching on the replay and for Michelle, Lord. I just ask in accordance with your word, Lord, that you would just push back all cosmic beings and forbid them to interfere, intimidate, or retaliate against any of us or any part of our heart for this time today, Lord. And we just partner with you in saying to all cosmic forces, lower or higher level, um, that would try to hinder your intercession. We just say the Lord rebuke you. The Lord God who chose Jerusalem rebuke you. The Lord God who chose all of us and every part of our heart rebuke you. And Lord, we just welcome the angelic presence um, that you've assigned for each one of us over our life. We invite them into our space. Lord, we release those angels now and activate them to help hold this time in connection with you, Lord. And I just bless everyone's spiritual eyes, Lord, and ears to hear and see you right now, Lord. And I just release your overwhelming peace into our space, wherever we are, for the office, for in our car, for in our house, wherever we are, Lord, I just say, Lord, we just ask you to release more peace, more peace for each person, Lord. And I just thank you for your presence, Lord. I thank you that you have been so faithful during this time. And we just have the expectation that you're just going to go deeper and, and, and open our eyes to see everything you have in our heart, everything that you have for us. So you pray this in your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm super excited about today because as I've been talking about, again, as the whole manual is God with us and about getting that, deepening that connection we have with him and increasing our capacity to be in relationship with him. Because that's something like if you're like me, most of us never even thought about that we can have this kind of like a deep connection with him. I just, I didn't know. Um, but today I want to talk a little deeper into about, you know, we've just been basically talking about how just having that connection and the appreciation memory and joy memories. But I want to go a little deeper about there's, you know, the way our heart is really, our soul is, de is designed is we have like, and the basic brain science of it is you have the, the left side of your brain is the part that gets things done. It's the part of, you, of us that, um, that just, no matter what happens, it just keeps going. It just keeps like our day-to-day -day tasks. It's our analytical, logical side of our brain. The right side of our brain is where we carry all of our emotions, right? Where we carry like the pain, the trauma. Um, it's also the part that's more creative, right? And then the core of our heart, of our brain and our heart is, is the amygdala. And that amygdala is, is the part of us that's the fight or flight. It's a part of us that we, we kind of like, and you know, if you look at the heart sink modality, we call it um, the, the protector parts, the guardian parts. It's the part of us, it's the watchman on the wall. It's a part of us that it's the number one sole job is to keep us from feeling pain, to keep us protected. So it will do that part of us, the fight or flight will do whatever it takes to keep us from feeling pain and trauma. So all these, these parts of us were designed to be synchronized and to work together. Our, every part of us is designed to work together. But what happened was when, you know, we had experienced trauma, all those parts kind of got separated, right? So it's like, you know, functions over here doing its own thing. It thinks emotions just too emotional and mo emotional thinks functions just not, you know, just isn't like emotional enough. And then the guardian's like trying to, it's just like this whole desynchronized thing. 
And so it's pretty cool to realize that, you know, we were never meant to work independently. The intention of God was that we would we all work together as one and our original self is here and all the core parts of our heart are here. We're supposed to work together with Jesus. We're never meant to be separated. So um, what I'd like to do today is go back to our five bar connection, right? The five bar, like five bars in our phone. And just to get that connection, get back to our appreciation memory. We get the same one we've been using all week or you have a new one, that's totally fine. And then what I want to do is I want to spend some time just to honor the left side of our brain, just to honor the, the function part of our brain, the part of us that has worked so hard that despite the pain and trauma we've experienced and all the hurt in our hearts, this part of us has just worked so hard to keep us going, to keep us functioning, no matter what's going on. I just want to honor that part today. I just want to do like the next three days, I'm going to honor each part of those just to kind of give them time to be able to be, just be honored and recognized for all the hard work that that's been doing to protect all each part of our heart i love each part because it has worked so hard to keep us all together and going and, and and all the components we have going on i just feel like every part of this of us is so precious and i just appreciate everyone so i want to take time each day the next few days to honor each part of our heart just so that um, it just, it's, it's a good thing just to recognize it and just to connect all of us to that part because some of us might even be aware of it. Like I never knew that we had our brain works this way. And, and this is a beautiful way that God designed us because he knew from the beginning what would happen to us. Each one of us, he knows our story. So he provided, he provided this beautiful tools for our, our brains to kind of break apart so that we could keep going. If we didn't have if we didn't, we didn't have the different parts of our heart, I don't think we could we could have made survive the trauma we experienced, right? We just couldn't make it because it was just too much. So it's a beautiful way to keep text away certain parts, and he you know has other parts doing these things. And so I just think it's a precious, precious thing. So so we're gonna get started in terms of just going back um, to our, our 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 moment of just appreciation and joy. And again, just remember that the whole point of all this is for us to be in relationship with God. So we want to be relational to, to increase our capacity in relationship with him. I'm going to give you a couple of verses real quick to talk about how the different parts of our heart, we want to always, the Bible is always our basis, right? When I do anything, we want to make sure that we understand how this connects with the Bible. So um, in Ezekiel 11, 19, it says, I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. I will remove from their heart of stone and give them a new heart of flesh. So that's basically talking about our heart wasn't meant to be divided, but meant to work together, right? And that's the Lord said he, he will give them an undivided heart, right? So once we get all these parts synchronized back together, we'll have an undivided heart, which is what the Lord wants. And also Jeremiah 32, 39 says, I will give them undivided hearts, singleness of heart, and action so that they will always fear me for their own good and good of the children after them. And then James 1, 6 through 7 says, when a man, when a man asks, he must believe and not doubt because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is double-minded and unstable in all he does. So those verses just talk about how we were designed to be synchronized, to have an undivided heart. And when we're double-minded, we're, we're just all over the place and we really can't, we can't really connect to the Lord like we need to. So our whole goal is to increase our relationship with the Lord by having a singleness of heart and being resynchronized back to a whole heart, walking in wholeness the way he designed. Okay, so again, there's no right or wrong way to experience your connection with the Lord and with your appreciation, joy, memory. So you might, you might get a mental picture, you might hear something, you might get a sense, you might feel, all those are fine. There's no right or wrong way. And there's never any pressure. Again, if you if you can't connect to any part, of it, particularly your function part today, don't worry about it. Just stay in that appreciation memory or just stay present with your breath. And let, just, you know, breathe, recognize your breath, recognize your heart beating. So that way you can just get your connection with your own body, right? So that's always a good thing. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, so I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to take us back to a memory when we had appreciation and joy. So Lord, I just ask you, Holy Spirit, will you, with each person here, with Michelle and the ones who listen on the replay, will you take them back to a memory of a time when they felt appreciation and joy in their life? And it could be anything at all. 
um, just take them back. I think you can have the same memory you've been using all week or Lord, Holy Spirit, if you have a new memory for them, will you just refresh that and bring that to each person right now, Lord? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take your time and get to that appreciation, joy, memory. And once you're there, let's look around again. Do you see the same things you saw if it's the same memory? Is there anything new that you notice around you in that memory? Who's there with you? Do you have any noises that you hear, you're hearing? Is there any, um, any smells that you smell? Can you see where Jesus is in this memory? If you could see where Jesus is, take a moment just to express, even if you can't see him, why don't you take a moment right now just to express to him the appreciation you have for this memory. What is it that you love? What is it that you appreciate in this memory? Let's express that to him right now. So as you were expressing your appreciation in this memory to Jesus, did you have a sense of how he feels about you and then what you appreciate about him? And if it's okay with you, would it be okay if I asked Jesus to let you know what he appreciates about you in this appreciation, joy, memory? So Jesus, Will you let each one know what is it that you appreciate about them in this memory or appreciation and joy memory that you've given them? What do you appreciate about them? So if it's okay with you, I'd like to ask Jesus if there's anything else he would like you to know about this appreciation and joy memory. Is there anything else he wants you to know? So Jesus, is there anything else you want each person to know about this appreciation and joy memory? Is there anything else you want them to know about it? Is there any detail you want to highlight to them? Is there, is there some way you can deepen the appreciation or joy? You just ask, would you show them now or give them a sense or a vision, whatever way you want to communicate with them, whatever way that they receive? So just take a moment right now just to stay in that appreciation and joy memory and just take in everything that you've experienced right now. Anything that you felt or sensed that Jesus was telling you, you can just take that in and enjoy that right now. Just let that sink in. Let it sink in deep. If your brain, your mind starts to wander from your appreciation, joy, memory, it's okay. Just go right back. You don't have to start over. Just go right back to the memory. It's right there. If it's okay, I'd like to ask the Holy Spirit just to deepen and to bring forward again the appreciation, joy, memory. So Holy Spirit, will you just deepen and and bring forward that appreciation memory that everyone has right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. So as we're there in that appreciation memory, I'd like to just take a moment just to speak to that part of your heart, that part of your heart that we call function, but it's the part of you that has, no matter what's happened in your life, no matter any trauma or pain that you've experienced, that you've been able to just keep going. So I just wanna, I just wanna speak to that part of your heart, that function part of your heart that, that's done such an amazing, incredible job. And I just wanna let you know that you are so appreciated and that, you, that we honor you. We just wanna give you honor right now and let you know how much we appreciate you. That dear precious function part that has done such a good job that despite everything we experience in our life, and some of us have had a lot of hurts, a lot of trauma, no matter what we've gone through, you just got us back up in the morning. You got us in the shower. You got us to work. You got us cooking for our families. You got us doing all of our tasks that we have to get done day to day. Despite what we had going on, despite what we were feeling, you just kept us going. And I just want to honor you and let you know what a wonderful, amazing, incredible job you have done. We couldn't have done it without you. We wouldn't have survived without you. And now we have survived because of you. And I just want to honor you and thank you. Thank you, precious function. Thank you for keeping us going, keeping us going despite all we had to get through some of us have a lot on our plates, but yet we're able to do it. And we do it because you, because of your hard work. And I just say thank you and I honor you. And I appreciate you. We appreciate all that you have done. We just say thank you. Thank you, Function. Thank you for what you've done. And I just want to let you know that you were never meant to carry all that weight by yourself. It's been such a hard job to do it all alone. I just want to let you know that um, just how we've been connecting with Jesus and our appreciation and joy memory that this is for you too, that this is for you and that um, you don't have to keep carrying all that weight that you have on you of doing all this all by yourself. You were never intended to do this alone. It was, it was intended that we would all work together so right now, I just want to invite you, if you are comfortable, I want to invite you um, just to connect with Jesus. If you can see Jesus or sense Jesus, if you want to know Jesus deeper, I just want to invite you right now that he's with us. He's with us always, and he's with us right now. And just have you seen how he's connected with us in our appreciation and joy memory. I want to invite you into that, into that moment, into that memory, and let you know that this is for you too. And, but you don't have to do anything you don't want to. There's no, no one is going to force you to do anything you're not ready to. But if you want to, Jesus is there right now in that appreciation and joy memory. I want to invite you just to step into there for a minute. Just you can even like hokey pokey, poke your toe in, poke your toe out, just to see what it feels like. I just invite you into that space just to test it out because this is also for you. Jesus is for you too. We'd like for you to deepen your relationship with him. And if it's okay for you function, and if you feel like you're ready, I just want to invite you just to anything that you want to give to Jesus in terms of all that weight you've been carrying. It's been such a big job and you've done such a wonderful, wonderful job. I want to invite you, if there's any of that, that stress, that weight, the cares and the worry. And maybe you're just tired. Maybe you just feel tired from having done all this, all these years, all on your own. If you want to, I just want to invite you now. Jesus is there and his hands are open. And if you want to just release to him any of that weight, care and worry, and any of that tiredness that you might feel, I just want to invite you now. You can just release it to Jesus. He's right there. And you don't have to give him anything you want. You can, again, test it out, give him a little bit and see what it feels like to have a little less weight on you, a little less stress on you. You just can release anything you want to Jesus. He's there. 
releasing it to Jesus, releasing, releasing, releasing to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that by your wounds we are healed. Every part of our heart, even our function part, it's by you that, that it is healed too. We just thank you. Thank you, Jesus, that we can release all that we want to you right now, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And now, Function, I just wanted to, 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 to let you know that, um, you know, our, our Function part, our Emotion part, our Protector parts, we were all designed, like I said, to be worked together as a team. And I just want to honor you and just, if it's okay with you, I would just like to, just, just to reconcile. Um, you to emotion to let you know how sorry uh, that emotion and guardian parts are that left you alone that you were never meant to be alone so if it's okay for you with you I'm going to say a little prayer that will just kind of reconcile you with them and you can receive any part that you want and there's no pressure but function um, I just want you to know that um that we're sorry, that emotion and guardian are sorry that they, they left you abandoned to deal with things that were too overwhelming and painful and frightening. Separating from you was the only way that we could survive and continue to function. Will you please forgive us for leaving you and carrying, the, carrying all that pain and, and, and weight of what you had to deal with? I just thank you. I thank you for, for keeping us functioning for all those years. We don't want you to have to live a fragmented life, and we want you to all work together as a team. So I just want to invite you to be reunited, united, reunited with your emotion part, with your um, guardian part, if you want to just um, to be to be together, to work together as a team with Jesus. And you can just test it out and see what that feels like. But again, you're never being forced to do anything you don't want to. I just want to invite, let you know that we're sorry that you had to, to be alone and that we are willing to never leave you alone again, that we would love to work together as a team. Because it's because of you and your bravery and your strength that we've been able to keep going. We're so proud of you. We love you so much. We're so thankful for you. We just, again, want to honor you and let you know that you don't have to do this alone, that you can do it together with the other parts of our heart together as a team. But you can take it this as slow or as fast as you want. You don't have to do anything you don't want, but we just want you to know that we appreciate you and we honor you. We love you. We thank you. We thank you for your hard work. And we're so sorry that you were left alone by yourself to try to do all, keep us functioning, keep everything going all by yourself. We're so sorry for that. And we just ask you to forgive us for that. All the other parts of our heart, we just say we're so sorry for that. I just want to invite you again. Um, if there's anything else you want to release to Jesus, he's there. And if you want to just sit in this appreciation, joy, memory, and just rest, you can do that too because you deserve the rest. You've worked so hard and functioned. We just thank you. Thank you for all that you've done. It's not gone unnoticed. It's not been for nothing. It's because of you that we've kept going in life and kept functioning. We just say thank you for that. Thank you for that. And if you want, you can re when you release anything you want to Jesus, you, if you want to, you can, try, you can ask him, Jesus, if I give this to you, what do you have in exchange? What can you? What else can you give me? I just want to. I just want to let you know, function that even as you release any of this stress to Jesus, and as we learn to work together as a team, you will never ever lose your job. We need you, function. We need to. We will always need you to get through life. You will never lose your job. It's so important. So we just thank you and just let you know if you want to release any more to Jesus, you can if you want to ask him, Jesus, what is it that you have for me in exchange? If I give you, if I release all this stress I've been carrying in, is there anything else you want to give me in exchange for me releasing what I am to you? 
And if it's okay, I'd like to ask Jesus, Jesus, is there anything you want to give function right now to help them do their job, to make it easier for them, and so that they can work with the other parts of our heart freely and not have to be alone? Is there anything else you want to give function? You might get a sense, you might get a feeling, you might get a mental picture. Any way you can receive from him is totally fine. If you don't sense anything right now, that's okay too. You can just enjoy the rest, enjoy the, the weight being lifted off of you. All the weight, all the care, all the stress just being released being lifted off. Let's just take a deep breath in right now and out. I just wanna invite you to go back to your appreciation, joy, memory. Just go back there for a minute. Go back to that moment when you felt appreciation and joy, where we started, that five bar memory. Let's go to back there. Look around, what's there? Do you sense anything else? Take another deep breath in and out. Just be present in your appreciation, joy, memory. Just sit there for a minute. Enjoy the peace. Enjoy all the good feelings. And I just thank you again and honor you function. Thank you for letting us chat with you today. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We thank you. We honor you. We appreciate you. Thank you for all your hard work. It's not gone unnoticed. We bless you. And we ask Jesus to bless that part of our heart. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to ask the Holy Spirit to fill every part of you from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. So Holy Spirit, will you just fill every person now, everyone listening on the replay, will you just fill, fill, fill every space, filling up every empty space, pushing out all darkness, filling, filling, filling every empty space, more light, more light, filling, filling, filling every space. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Filling, filling, filling tones, overflowing, more light, more light. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. More light, filling, 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 overflowing. Thank you. Let's take one more deep breath in and out through your mouth. Just wiggle our shoulders, just kind of bring ourselves back to now, the present. Maybe open your eyes. How are you guys feeling? How does that feel? I just hope that you felt the, just the release and the joy of being recognized. All that part, that part of your heart that we worked with today, that beautiful function part of your heart. I hope that, um, that it just felt blessed and felt the love and appreciation that we have for it because it's just so precious and there's no way we could ever have made it without you. <laughs> so I'd just like to do a quick little closing prayer, guys. I try to keep this in 30 minutes. I did pretty good considering we were doing more specific work with our part of our heart. So I just want to do a quick closing little prayer. So Lord, I just thank you for what you're doing right here and what you did with every person, with Michelle and everyone who listens on the replay. I just thank you for what you did. I thank you. We bless that, the function part of their heart. We bless every part of their heart right now to receive the fullness of all that you're healing that you break that you have for them today, Lord. And God, I just thank you that what you begin, you always finish. 
So we know that you, the hard work that you're doing this week, that you will see it to completion. Lord, we just thank you for that. We ask that you would take each person, Lord, into a deeper, deeper connection with you, Lord, more than they've ever, ever experienced before, Lord. And Lord, I just release an acceleration on, on the work that you're doing for each person, Lord, and ask that um, you would continue to highlight and bring insight to them of what the word and clarity, Lord, for what you were doing today and everything that you did. We just ask you to bring more insight, more clarity, Lord. So I just bless every part of everyone's heart and ask that, Lord, that you would seal everything you did today, everything today and everything you've done. We ask you to seal it in your precious blood, Jesus. And that, Lord, that you would continue to highlight what it is that you're doing in each person, Lord. And we just thank you. We love you. We love you, Lord. You're so beautiful. You're so precious. We thank you that you're so faithful. Thank you that when we seek you, we find you. And, Lord, we are hungry. And we are seeking your presence. We want to be, increase our relational capacity with you, Lord, to know you even deeper. That every part of our heart would walk in wholeness with you, Lord without the dividedness, but to be synchronized and walk in fullness with you, Lord. So I pray all this, Lord Jesus, in your mighty name. Amen. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that. And again, any part of the, this Emmanuel connection, even as we begin to go a little deeper into each part of our heart, if you don't have any sense of that, then that's okay. Just I want you again just to focus on your breath, focus on being present in the moment. What are you feeling in your body? And just any of the stress and what you're feeling, just let it release. Let it release. Sometimes it helps just to even do like a you know a prophetic act, like take off the backpack and put it down, or like to lay things at Jesus' feet. And just, you know, just even do it in mean, that way sometimes is so powerful. Um, it's just super helpful just to even just do it, move your body physically. <laughs> How was that for you, Michelle? Did you experience anything you want to share? You don't have to if you don't want to, but if there's anything that... Um, that no, just real calm. That's, That's what I felt. That's just... Perfect. That's, that's what you always want to feel. Um, that's one of the things is to really have that calm and that peace. And that's, and that's really who Jesus is. Like he's, that's who he is to you. So he's like coming to you in that calm and peaceness, which is still precious. It's so good. Thank you. I know you're, you're, this is probably your lunch hour. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your lunch hour with us. That's so precious. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So bless you. And tomorrow we're going to go dive again a little bit deeper. Um, and this today we did, worked up that the, the their, their, um, our intuitive part, our left side that is our function side. Tomorrow we're going to talk to our emotion side, which is probably most of us are more connected to our emotion side because we have a lot of emotions. <laughs> If you're pat over 50 like me, you might have a little extra. <laughs> so it'd be good to just kind of honor that part of our hearts so that we can continue just to have more heart healing. So bless you guys. Thank you, Michelle. I so appreciate you for being on. And guys, don't forget tonight at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time, you will have a live inner healing demonstration, um, and which is I'm super excited about this. Because don't forget, as you watch someone else having a demonstration, this applies to you as well. A lot of times when the Lord's healing one person, like I always get healing. Even when I'm like an intercessor for a session or if I'm the lead in a session, he heals part of my heart too. It's like, I can describe it. It's so incredible. So I'm super excited about that. So thank you so much. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate you being here. You're so beautiful. All right, guys, we'll see you tonight and have a wonderful rest of your day. If you have any questions, just tag me. Do you have an experience of what you experienced today? I'd love to hear a test, a post or a live to share what your experience was. If you have questions, again, tag me so I can answer those for you. Okay. Love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.